Mira opened her eyes. The lights in the medical bay had been turned low. Is it nighttime? She looked to her left where she felt a stinging in her arm and saw an IV. Her arm was heavily bruised, must have blown the vein the first time and eventually figured it out. Probably freaked out the medical officer. She looked down at herself and saw that her clothing had been removed and been replaced with simple clothing that was entirely too large for her. I see you are awake. How are you feeling? Anasili asked. I don't think I've met you before. Mira replied, still a little groggy. I'm not sure. How did I get here? My name is Garda. I'm a medical officer here for the nocturnal crew. As for how you got here, how about you start with what is the last thing you remember? I was with Poven and his team in one of the hangars. It was the third we had been assigned to. The ships that had landed in there were filled with the Lizardmen and... Wendigos. Poven called them something else. And I remember that CMO Clarud showed me pictures of them. But they didn't look anything like those pictures. Vasily are your Lizardmen. Do you mean the Lukshi? She brought up a picture of a Lukshi on her portable. Like this? That's what CMO Clarud said they looked like. That's not what they looked like. Garda was a little confused. How did they look to you? This is what the Lukshi look like to everyone else. Do you have my portable? It's hooked up to my ship's databases. I can show you how they are drawn back on Earth. Of course. She handed Mira her portable, and after a few minutes, found the Wendigo images, and found one that looked closest to what she saw and showed Garda. How very strange. I wonder why they force you to view them in this manner. Do you remember anything else? Yeah. As soon as one of them looked at me, it was like all I could hear was it, and I kept on moving toward it. It was like I couldn't stop, but I wanted to. I remember getting more and more scared as I got closer to it. But then everything just goes black. The next thing I remember is here. I see. We have the video feed from that time. Look at it with me and see if anything jogs your memory. Garda brought over her portable and changed to the camera view. Mira had noticed that the lighting of the room had been dimmed and realized that even video feeds that had daytime light would probably hurt the nocturnal species. She could still easily see what was going on. There was sound, but it was low. Mira realized it was probably turned down low, so they didn't disturb anyone else in the med bay. Mira watched as she locked eyes with the Lukshi. That's not the species I saw. That looks like the pictures you have. You said all you could hear was it. Its mouth isn't moving here. You were hearing it in your mind? Maybe. I heard a crying. It could have been a baby or an animal, I don't remember. I just felt this need to move towards it. Mira replied. We will need to be leery of humans encountering Lukshai if this is normal. The only other species they have that effect with is the Quicks, but it is a very different thing. Quicks and Lukshi have psionic abilities. In fact, when a Quicks and a Lukshi battle, it is with their minds. They each attempt to take mental control over the other. Are humans able to speak with each other mind to mind? There is talk of psychic abilities, but it's usually debunked as parlor tricks or manipulation or even being really good at reading body language and facial cues. Some people will get premonitions, but we associate that more with being more in tune with our instincts or intuition, which is just that we are subconsciously picking up on cues and clues and nuances that our conscious mind doesn't catch. Wait, you have two minds? Have you ever struggled to remember a specific thing, maybe someone's name or the name to a specific item? You can't remember even though you know you should. But rather than looking it up in the moment, you move on to something else. After a few minutes or even a whole day, you suddenly remember the thing you had been trying to remember. It's this sudden, that was the thing I was trying to remember. It happens to humans all the time, while our conscious mind, the one handling the here and now, moves on to something else. The subconscious mind continues to poke around for the memory of the thing. And when it finally finds it, it brings it forth to the conscious mind, and now you know the name of the thing. The subconscious mind is what will work on problems or ideas when we aren't currently focused on them, and we often end up coming up with things we might not have if we had continued to focus on the problem. The subconscious can look at the problem from different angles and come up with a better solution, 
than the same paths we keep on trudging through with our conscious mind. No, and I don't even know what questions to ask. Ah, but you will eventually come up with questions. That would be your subconscious mind continuing to think about the issue? Mira replied. No, I do not have secondary thought processes that continue while I am not focused on them. If I were to stop trying to remember a thing, I will not suddenly come up with the memory at a later time. I will have to continue to work through my memories. Garda replied as she took some notes. Mira thought for a few moments. Oh, dreams. Do you dream when you are asleep? It's widely accepted that our dreams are our subconscious working through things that happened while we were awake, and dreams are how it shows its work. What is a dream? Nothing happens when we sleep. Dreams are like little movies that play in our mind while we sleep. Kind of like having mild but entertaining hallucinations. Mira supplied. I'm going to have to talk to a quicks. What you are talking about goes beyond anything I understand. Let's continue watching the footage. What was going on here? Garda asked as Mira stopped in front of the Lukshi and gripped the plasma axe at her waist. I think I remember being terrified. I couldn't move away or even look away from it. Garda continued the footage until Mira let out a shriek and whipped out the axe. How about here? I don't remember any of that. Garda let the footage play a bit more. I look like a berserker. What is that? Ancient human warriors that either found out on the battlefield that they would fight without restraint, but have no ability to use defense or put themselves into a special trance aided by some kind of drug to do the same thing. The ones that go into it naturally said they were terrified. I do remember feeling intense fear before blacking out. Poven mentioned that this was the first combat you had seen. Mira nodded. Perhaps the intense fear coupled with the Lakshi mind attack caused this berserker trance in you. Maybe. I think that's enough for now. How about you rest, and then the heads of the ship will want to talk to you tomorrow, along with some old friends of yours. Black Hole is keeping close while we clean up. They have been helping us man stations while our people recover. Hey everyone, hope you loved the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe for more awesome sci-fi content, and now you can also show your support by hitting the thanks button at the bottom of the video. Your generosity goes a long way. Additionally, if you're feeling extra generous, check out our Ko-Fi page to support the channel. Every bit helps us bring you more stories from the stars. Thanks a bunch.